Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habit fala one of the shubahat one of the doubtful things that the people of desires and innovation uh, come with is so and so has so much knowledge so and so studied here and so and so studied there he spent so many years doing this he studied in a prestigious university x y and z and and these are fantastic accomplishments by the way we're not belittling uh, the the path of ilm however it is traversed at all absolutely not we believe it is it's magnificent and it's a ni'mah min ni'amillah however if your natija if in the end you leave Islam, or in the end you become a mubtadiyah, or in the end you co totally go against the book and the sunnah, then, you know, what is the faida? That, that shows you didn't have tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and none of us knows how we're going to die. May Allah bless us all to die. Die on Islam wa sunnah. And I wanted to read a, a very important statement. This is from Imam Babahari, and he you know, is uh, from our Salaf, okay? And, you know, this text is like 1,100 years old, perhaps more. And listen to the wisdom and the fiqh that he said in something very simple and how the Salaf used to look at these accomplishments of people who memorized a lot and people who, you know, uh, either wrote a lot of text or they... They, uh, they collected narrations. They're talking about narrators, even. Okay? And how they felt about that. And, and what the shahid, what's the point of this? Listen to this. He says, وَعْلَمْ رَحِمَكُ اللَّهِ أَنَّ الْعَلْمَ لَيْسِ بِكَثْرَةَ رُوَايَةً وَالْكُتُبُ إِنَّمَا الْعَالَمُ مِنَ اتَّبَعَ الْعِلْمُ وَالسُنَنْ وَإِنْ كَانَ قَلِيلَ الْعِلْمُ وَالْكُتُبُ وكتب. ومن خالف الكتاب والسنة فهو صاحب البد صاحب بدع وإن كان كثير العلم كتب. So Imam Babahari he said, he said no and may Allah have mercy upon you. He said that knowledge, it is not from uh, you know having many narrations, you know being a a collector of many narrations. So one who's memorizing one who's just seeking, you know, they're just seeking knowledge. That's not really ilm. So he's going to tell us what ilm is. He says, uh, you know, so even having a lot of books or the way the Salaf, you know, the collecting of their narrations and what they memorized and so on and so forth in books, that's not the, the ibra. That's not the, the main point. And that's not the main, uh, the main pillar of knowledge. Okay? Or, or that's not the end result of knowledge, I should say. He says, alam, He says, Verily an alam, a person who has knowledge, is the one who follows and meaning who practices al. Was sunnah. I want to stop there real quick. What about those people who they have, they have knowledge? So, and, and they practice what they preach. But they have so much bid'ah in their understanding. They're they're uh, an alam, you know. There are there are ulama that have a, a lot of knowledge, but they're supporters and they are of Khan Muslimin. And they are very progressive in their fatwas. Just change and go left and right and right and left. You know, flip flop quite a bit. And that's okay to change your fatwa and change your rai rai. It's okay. But when you see some of the radical changes. And the consistent consistency in their changes, and the consistency in their dalal of going back against really the salaf, then you know that that elm is not really benefiting them fully. They don't have the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa taala because they can die as a mubtadi'ah wa iyadu billah wa min anar. So it's very important to know and understand that that those that isn't just memorizing and having books and things like that. It's not. The point of knowledge, but what makes someone really knowledgeable is their practice of the knowledge they attain and of the sunnah, of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And he says, in kana qalil al kutub. He said, even if a person has a very little knowledge and very few books, but if they're practicing, they may have more knowledge because the knowledge, as the Salaf used to say, 
al-amal thamarat al-ilm. Fruit, uh, uh, the the deeds, good deeds, righteous deeds, are the product of knowledge. So knowledge should have some good production. Because we could, I, we know, we can name people that have memorized a lot, and they're very strong, but they have horrible. You know, we don't know what they're doing in their houses and stuff like that. But some of them we do. Some of them we know what's doing in the houses because they were wife beaters and they're publicized now. They were rapists and they're publicized now. They were this. They were that. Where's the thamarat al-ilm? Where's the benefit of the knowledge? Even if he graduated from this place or he studied in this place and he came from Marqas al-Sunnah X, Y, and Z. What's the benefit if you're not practicing? We have to practice. May Allah forgive us and you, I mean. So he said, even if a person has little knowledge and, and few books, you know, they can be that alam. Meaning because they're an alam in practicing what they learned. And he says, and whoever this differs with the Quran and the Sunnah, then he's a person of bid'ah. Who is sahib of bid'ah? Even if he has a lot of knowledge, book knowledge, and books, does that not fit the criterion of some of the people that we know? May Allah protect us from having that, from that, from that having that characteristic of being someone who has a lot of knowledge, who Allah is favored with knowledge, favored to study here, there, and everywhere. Gain knowledge, gain ilm and nafia, sit with ulama sunnah, and many other benefits. But then in the end of the day, go against the sunnah of the Prophet, speak against the Ahlul Sunnah, destroy the Qawaid and, and pillars of Ahlul Sunnah, the Jama'ah, the Minhaj, the Itaqad of Ahlul Sunnah, claiming that now there's, there's many diverse, eclectic manahij, eclectic. That there's many creeds we can have, we can just put it all together. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless us with ikhlas with the battle of Sunnah.